Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, today it's going to be Mary Trump's Donald. Okay, so there's a lawsuit that's come down to just the two of them. Everyone else has dropped out or been paid off. Um, and, and now it's just, uh, and it's about Mary Trump turning over the documents that uh, she had, his tax records, to investigators. So now it's, does Mary Trump Donald? We'll see. Okay, so I think it's a pretty simple uh, concept. Uh, so she's, uh, it's just the two of them left now. She and, and he are embroiled in this lawsuit. So what's going to happen? Um, is it going to be uh, Mary's uh, favor? Is it going to be Don's favor? Uh, he's having to pay the attorneys of the other uh, folks who are no longer in the lawsuit. And I'm not sure why. I didn't look it up. But um, he is having to pay their attorney's fees. And so it just leaves the two of them. Uh, and it has to do with her, uh, she uh, turning over uh information that she got in a lawsuit uh, through discovery i believe that had happened to have uh, some of donald trump's tax records in it and that was a big help to apparently the government so we'll see what this is all about but before we do too much you know i just want to take a minute to do some uh, meditation so here we go So, Mary versus Donald. I think that's a pretty interesting kind of concept there. So, in that battle, well, let's say this first of all. Let's see. Now, three cards just to see if this lawsuit uh, will continue. In other words, it won't be settled. It won't be thrown out of court. Um, will it be, will the lawsuit be continued between uh, Mary and, uh, and he's suing her. He's suing her. So that side of that lawsuit. Will that continue? Donald Trump lawsuit against his niece. Okay. So the King of Cups. So it's a huge emotional uh, situation for him. It's his King of Cups. Um, this is the Eight of Coins. Eight of Coins is learning your craft. Okay. Practicing it until you get it just right. And coins, of course, are value or money even. Huh. So his lawsuit against her. And uh, then this final thing is the four cups. Something that you really don't, something of emotional value, but you really don't want to receive it. So it looks like um, he's going to have to settle this. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen here. So, okay. And so now if he's going to settle the lawsuit, will there be a like an admission of guilt. That's what I'd like to know. Because sometimes they sell these lawsuits and, and they're sealed and you never know what was what the deal was that was made uh, to get the lawsuit done. But will there be an admission and from Donald by Donald Trump? Will there be an admission of guilt? Three cards. Will there be an admission mission of guilt by Donald Trump uh, if this lawsuit is uh, settled? Um, oh, the lover's card. So uh, they'll make friends. <laughs> um, the seven of swords is theft and betrayal. Okay. And then the final card is the king of coins. Uh, always uh, the king of the, of the value here. So there will be a deal made. There will be a deal made. Uh, there is theft and betrayal involved in that. He will get the upper hand in this deal. And uh, because he is the king of coins. Somehow he's going to have money to continue all of this insanity. Will Donald Trump live to be president of the United States? Three cards. 
One, two, three. Interesting question. A little vague. Uh, King of Coins, lots of value. Knight of Cups fighting for that emotional battle. And the Hierophant. Yeah. Does that mean he will be? It means he will live to be. Not happy uh, with that reading at all. Hang on, I'm gonna show you the cards. Okay, so these are again some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer.